Welcome to yet another video on Code Handbook. So in this video, we'll see how to fetch data in your Next.js projects. So basically, there are a couple of methods which can be used to fetch data in your Next.js project. So here, we'll be focusing on one particular method, which is called get static props. So why we are using get static props and how we'll be using get static props, we'll see throughout the course of this tutorial video. So first, uh, I already have a Next.js project up and running here, which is a shopping cart. So it loads some data from, from an API to render the store for the shopping cart. So I already have the boilerplate code for this thing. So first we'll just get familiar with the code that we have at hand. And once we are familiar with the code, we'll see how we can use get static props to fetch the data for this shopping cart and why we'll be doing so. So here is the application that I have at hand. So it has a simple it has a index page as you can see here it contains a container inside which we have an item store now this is basically your shopping cart thing so this takes in the store items which we will basically fetch from an api and if you see at item stores here that we are iterating the store items and we are dis displaying the data inside a grid using item card so inside store items we are displaying item store we are displaying each each of the items as an item card so here you can see the item card component also so the item card is basically something which gives a much more info to that specific shopping object so this will have the, a particular image associated with that particular item from the shopping cart and the title of that particular shopping cart shopping cart object and the price related to that particular object it can be a book it can be a laptop etc it might be having some description there and a night and a button there to add it to the cart so once we integrate it with the api we'll be able to see how this thing looks so without wasting further time i'll just get started and show you how we can add a get static props method to our page and fetch the data so basically what you need to do is from in, inside your index page basically what you need to do is you just need to go to your page where you need the data you just need to define your get static props here inside the page where you want to go where you want to make the api call you can define the get static props method so i'll simply define it get static and you need to export it and also this should be an async function and inside once you have the data and all you need to return the data as props Let's say I'm fetching the data as store items. I'll return it as store items to this thing. So now this store items will be, will be available inside the page on the client side here. So now first let's, let's fetch this thing. So I'll make use of fetch here. So the API that we'll be using for fetching the data is this API. This is a fake store API, slash products. This would be the our data. So I'll just simply call it here. Once you have made the API call using fetch, you will get a response. And from your response, you need to fetch the JSON. Now that should give you the store items and that store items gets passed as props to your particular page. Now if I run this thing, I'll just restart the server for this thing. npm run dev. Now this is running on localhost 3000. If I go to localhost 3000, I'll just refresh the page. This is how it looked before this thing, before we had any data. So now once the data, once the data gets fetched from the API, this is how it will look. Now this data is being fetched from that particular API, right? So I hope you understand how we are fetching the data, right? So now this call is all made on the server side. It's not on the client side. And one more thing, this get static props thing, the, the special thing about this get static props method is that this, this particular call is not done during your runtime. This happens during your build time. So one, at the time when you are building your project, at that time, this API call gets made and the data is being stored. At the time of building the project, this API call is being made and this data is being kept locally. This doesn't happen during your runtime. So I'll just show you how this thing happens. If you close your project, I'll just build the project. Now if you build the project here, you can see 
npm run build that should build the project now once this project gets built you'll be able to see that the, all the data is being fetched and stored in your project rep only and is being utilized during the runtime without making any network calls during runtime if you see here now once you do npm run build you go to uh next folder pages here you can see some data index.json so here you can see the data right page prop store items here the data is there so this is the data that is being fetched during build time and is kept locally inside here and is being rendered now if you see if i run this thing if i run the build project you can do run the build project using npm start that time it will pick the files from your build, build directory so if i do an npm start you can see it doesn't really take any time to load or like to make an any api call or something it simply loads i go to local host 3000 it loads in the flick of a second see so the data it's being kept locally it's it's not being called again during runtime if i go so if if you try logging also see we can try logging and be, make sure that this data is being called here so i'll do one thing i'll make keep a log here like console.log i'm building the project once again now see during build time you can see the log here it get the whatever data they got from the api it's being logged now if i run the project from the same build with npm start now you won't be able to see the logs in this here so if i reload the project here no logs are being logged here because the api call is made during the build time only it's not during runtime so i hope this makes it clear the get static props this thing is primarily used when the data doesn't really change in the backend or like it changes less frequently at that time this thing is used so because we just need to fetch the data during build time and once we fetch the data during build time so until and unless the data is changed we don't need to make another api call right so now there might be instances when you need to make an api call or like let's say the data got changed or something so i can add something called a revalidate here revalidate now what revalidate does is it fetches the api again after a certain amount of time that i specify here let's say I specify it like 20 seconds here now how this revalidate 20 works is like let's say i visited the site now and i so I, i'll be seeing the cache co copy of json that was created during the build time so now once i visited the page and then i go out and then i come back after 20 seconds and then i and i refresh the page at that time the fresh copy is uh, the, the existing data is revalidated and a fresh copy is being fetched so we can we can check that thing also once i'll do one thing i'll restart this thing so i'll rebuild this thing with revalidate to set as like let's say 10 seconds and we can verify this with the help of console log so i'll just build the project once again npm run build okay so i'll start the project with the build npm start so i'll open a new tab and go to localhost 3000 it fetches the pages with the data that was available during build time now since like let's say after a couple of seconds or like after 10 seconds if i try to refresh the page with the control r what this thing does is it fetches the data once again because i have added to revalidate after 10 seconds so that's how your revalidate thing works with get static props so i hope you understand why we are using get static props and like how we are using get static props and like what's the exact use of get static props here in next year's data fetching area so i hope you find the video useful if you do please support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel thanks for watching